Hey, everybody, it's the coach. Welcome to the special Saturday edition of the NFL on EA Sports. Coming up, we've got a good one on tap between America's team, the Dallas Cowboys, and the Philadelphia Eagles. With that, let's get up to the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. We're standing by for the call are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, it's the NFL on EA Sports as you take a look there at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. The scene in South Philly a few moments ago where the city of brotherly love is fired up. They're saying fly, Eagles, fly as they get ready to match up with Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis, happy to be with you. And Charles, we've got two teams who know each other extremely well. These division games, they tend to be battles. People scout like crazy in this league, but no one scouts more than within the division. Because if you win your division, you're automatically in the playoffs. That puts extra emphasis on these games, and they can't wait to get at each other. Elliott now to kick this one away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. So here are the Cowboys now ready to go on offense for the first time. They'll be led out by Dak Prescott, the 135th pick of the draft back in 2016 from Mississippi State. And avoids the contact by sliding. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Come on. Here's the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 11 yards there, first down. And there we see an early burst that makes him one of the leading rushers in the league. Well, I want you to know, I listened to you yesterday when we were watching film. You said, write down the word vision for him. It was on display there, wasn't it? It certainly was, because he allows the blocks to set up in front of him. And if that continues, it could be a long afternoon for those guys trying to play some defense. So after a good run by Zeke, another first and 10. Going to give this time to the tailback. And an alley to run. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackled there. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. So back-to-back -back big runs picking apart this defense on the opening drive. I thought this was a passing league. I thought this was the <laughs> era we were in where the ball was always in the air, right? They didn't get the memo. And they didn't get the memo, and I know this to be true. Offensive linemen still, to this day, they want to run the football. They want to fire out and hit people across the line of scrimmage, and they're clearing space. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 right at the 40. Prescott to throw it, rolling to his right. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. Well, that was man coverage. So once he decides to run with the football, there's no one to account for him, and he turns it into a nice gain. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. It's funny when I go back to our pregame meeting with Amari Cooper, and we mention, eh, what if they play man coverage against you? 
He almost seemed offended by it, didn't he? I'll beat it. That's basically what he said, right? <laughs> I mean, the best receivers we've ever talked to and covered, when you're talking about covering them with one guy, they think that's a personal affront. If they feel like they can't just beat one defender, then they're not very good. You were telling me this yesterday. This is exactly what they want to do on the opening drive, establish the ground game. Yeah, remember our conversation? We were talking about what one of the GMs in the league has told me repeatedly. It's a big man's game. And it's not necessarily size. He's talking about playing some big boy football. Line up, get leverage, knock people back, and establish the run early. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Elliott. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape, or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area, that they want him involved, just as you said. They want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like the matchups they're getting. That pass play wound up for negative yardage, so here's second and 11. Here's Prescott. And this is caught. It's Cooper. Now the stop will come inside the five at the four. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. I think a lot of people ask the same question all the time. Why do we see so many slants in the red zone? Well, the windows are tighter. Everything's more condensed. It has to be quicker. And you've got to deliver the ball on time. Your biggest worry, ball gets tipped in the air. Because if that happens, then it's fair game for the defense. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. I'm going to need some help with this one. How did he miss it? Wide open in the end zone. He's not hurried. He's not hit. And somehow, incomplete? Yeah. What happened? During film study, that's one where he's just going to shake his head, not be able to believe it. Six points go by the wayside on that one. The kick by Maher is good. And the Cowboys are going to jump out to a 3-0 lead. Well, after marching down the field, only getting three there, kind of feels like a win for the defense. And it does. They'll go to the sideline feeling a lot better that they didn't give up a touchdown after the march against them. But if I were the offense, I wouldn't hang my head over that one. That's a good drive, and three points were put on the board. After the made field goal, Marr back out there to kick it away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. So now here comes the Eagles offense as they get ready to take over. They'll be led out by their 6'5 quarterback out of North Dakota State. It's Carson Wentz. He didn't have as many throws or plays in college as many of the quarterbacks that were coming out in the draft, but he maximized what he had. Ended up winning two national championships as a starting quarterback at North Dakota State. Wentz and the Eagles now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Here's carry number one for Jordan Howard. Space to maneuver at the 40 as he'll get this one up to the 44-yard line. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. Running with Howard. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. A couple of very nice carries to start this drive out. Yeah, two first downs. And how about that second one? What a nice run on that particular play. I'm telling you, they're going to start to think that this game is easy if they continue to rip off yardage like this. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Wentz off the fake handoff to Howard. Going to look deep for Jeffrey. 
That's going to be caught. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Alshon Jeffrey, 45 yards. And the Eagles have taken the lead. Elliott Good with a PAT. After one, 7 3 the score on EA Sports. Now, second quarter action from Philadelphia, and it's the Eagles in possession, as we'll see one following the score on the final play before break. Elliott now to kick this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one go. as Here it's through go. the end zone for a touchback. Go. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Looking to throw, Prescott. And that's complete. It's the car to Cooper connection. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. This is Elliott, and he'll take this one for about four up to the 40. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. Second and six at the 40-yard line. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Cut, cut, cut. Throw it. Prescott. Blitz coming and down he goes. Fletcher Cox, the former Mississippi State Bulldog, ringing the cowbell there on the sack. Okay, was it a breakdown in protection? Did the running back not pick him up? What does it really matter? Sometimes it's just a great play made by the defense. Big time sack. They'll need a big play here. Will Dak and the Cowboys after the sack. It's third and long. Prescott from the gun. Going to take a shot for Gallup. Incomplete. He had his hands on it but couldn't pick it. But it's now fourth down. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. So on fourth down, here's Chris Jones to punt it away. And he couldn't get it to check up. That kicks all the way into the end zone for a touchback. Philadelphia getting set to take the field. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Here we go, here we go. 
Wentz and the Eagles now with a first and 10 at the 20. On play action, it's Wentz. Ertz over the middle. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark it down at the 49. He got 29 yards that time. So the defense blitzed. A nice job picking that up, completing the pass. And how in sync was the quarterback in his center on that play? They saw the blitz, made the appropriate calls, got the line engaged because now they know there are going to be extra guys coming at the quarterback. So they got their assignments down pat and kept them away from him. And he's able to step up in the pocket and fire one now for a really good strike. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. On first and 10, it's Sanders. And he's got this one across midfield into Cowboy territory. Jalen Smith, the Notre Dame man, in on the tackle. Well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back inside later. This is Howard on second down. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of his first half of action. The throw by Wentz, caught by Jackson. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. The Eagle passing game looking good on this drive. It's a first down. Timing is everything, and they work on this cut all the time. They work on all the timing patterns, and this time it paid off for them. Worked him to the center of the field, cut it to the outside, ball's delivered, gets both feet down for the completion. Wentz. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. It's a nine-yard pickup on the play, and it'll be second and about a yard to go for the first. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Wentz's throw taken in by Sanders. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. It's a first down on a gain of 10. Not only did we just see back-to-back -back nice gains, but we're also seeing the confidence rise, not just for the guy who caught it, but the guy throwing it as well. And these can these back-to-back -back catches here out of the backfield, that can set something up downfield in a later sequence, right? A lot of the time, it starts to draw the defense closer to the line of scrimmage. So to your point, show this swing pass, show this check down. Maybe later on, you heave one deep when you catch him close to the spot. To throw his wins. This will be caught at about the five. Only a yard on the completion. It's second and goal. Sanders. It's a gain of a yard. Brings up second and goal at the five-yard line. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Now wins again. And that's going to be caught for an Eagles touchdown. Carson Wentz with two first-half touchdown passes. And the Eagles able to push further out in front. And there was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Elliott now to add the extra point. This one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. 
So that drive in total eight plays. And it was capped off by an Eagles touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. And you have to figure they won't just sit on the football here in the final minute. The way things have gone, they need to try to make something happen offensively. But maybe they should. Maybe they should sit on it here because of what you just said. They haven't made anything happen offensively. Getting ready to go into the half, give them a chance to take a deep breath, exhale a little bit, and start over. I don't know if this is the time to push it myself. Yeah, right now under 100 yards of total offense. 54. Ain't no such thing as a loss. We taking wins home. They start on the ground with Elliott. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. You got it. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. I'm getting the sense that Fletcher Cox is making offensive linemen want to take the week off when they have to play against him. <laughs> it's a regular routine for him, isn't it? It really is. That play right there, there, that's right him right all there, day right long. Good luck trying to block him and keep him from disrupting your offense. He's going to wind up and air it out. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Well, partner, they're not content to run this one out as we head towards the half, trying to hit a big chunk play right there and add to their score. Yeah, this is a confident group. At the very least, they're thinking field goal. Yeah, and I don't blame them one bit. I don't think you sit on the ball going into the half when you have a chance to put some more points on the board. This time, they stay on the ground. And he's going to be brought down short of the first at about the 31-yard line. Well, seven yards on the carry there, but now they're staring at fourth down. Out now comes the Cowboys punter as he'll kick it away for the second time. So we have reached halftime here in an 11-point contest. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, right, Brandon. Thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to this slimmed-down version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This game's had a little bit of everything thus far and certainly plenty to look forward to as the teams are right back out there for the second half. So we'll get right back out there as well as we'll turn it back over to Brandon Godden. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. So the Eagles with the lead, and they're going to get this football first as the third quarter gets underway. And this will be a touchback as Let's that go, sails Let's over go. the end line. Out come the Eagles now as they'll go on offense first here in the third quarter. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff 
spent the entire halftime just working with them on here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. Wentz and the Eagles now with a first and 10 at their own 12. No, bottled up, fumble. It's out, it's loose. It's picked up by the Cowboys. And he will score. Touchdown, Cowboys. This defense, Charles, they needed some type of a spark to help get them back in this game. I think they just got their spark. No doubt about it. And you know that's all they discussed. How can we get ourselves moving again? How can we get our team going? This definitely qualifies. And now Jason Garrett electing for his guys to try for two. Prescott now after the fumble recovery. And he's got it. So the try for two successful. And with it, they're back within a field goal. I guess the coach looked at the two-point cheat sheet, said go for it, get it to a three-point game, and they did it. Yeah, and sometimes you just throw out time of game. You don't worry about that. There's just a feel sometimes in making that call, and he felt good about what he had for a two-point conversion, and now they're only down three and feeling great about themselves. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Eagles offense back out onto the field. They'll be looking to make amends for the events of a moment ago. A fumble return for six points. You absolutely have to protect the football. That's got to be priority number one because margin for error is starting to slip away. And now it's down to a one-score game. Wentz and the Eagles now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. To throw, it's Wentz. And he finds his tight end, it's Ertz. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. Give him nine there on the first down completion. One of the advantages of zone defense, as I remember it, is being able to see the play develop in front of you. One of the disadvantages? when they find those levels where they can hit you with it. Sometimes behind the corner and in front of the safety, it makes it tough to defend. Now Wentz on the bootleg. Nowhere to go here, he lost the football. It's picked up by the Cowboys. And he's gonna get this one to the 23 yard line. The psychology of the game never ceases to amaze me because you would think there would never be a fumble from what we hear from coaches all the time, right? And how much they practice not fumbling. Practice it, preach it, talk about it all the time. You would think no one would ever turn it over. Yet they are humans out there running around. And we just saw another one. Opportunistic by the defense. The Cowboys offense heading back out and ready to go again. down and more and down to the seven yard line let's go, let's go. that one goes for 16 yards it sets him up first and goal well cd a lot of times like to separate speed and quickness and they've got a back that's both we know that he's fast in the open field but man his first step is so quick too it is something isn't it because you think of that type of speed getting to the perimeter and turning up field but also when you run those inside runs he can get into the secondary so fast, the linebackers don't have a chance to react. They go play action here on first down. This will be caught just inside the 10. And he goes backwards on this one. Losing yardage to the 7. 
A pass for negative yardage, obviously no good. Maybe he shouldn't have thrown it, or maybe he shouldn't have caught it. I think we were seeing it at the same time, weren't we? Maybe you let that one go, right? Because you can see the lost yardage about to develop, but that goes against every instinct of a receiver. They're taught to catch everything, so it's really hard to be mad at him and yell at him for trying to make that play. Now from the seven, here's second and goal. Elliott. And that'll move him a little closer as he takes it from the seven down to the four-yard line. Defensively, I think they can smell a stop ball right around the five here brings up third. And I think what they've done is they put doubt in the minds of the offensive guys. What do we do? Because now you don't have a go-to play. Either side they pick, throwing it, running it, it won't be easy. Flush to his right, and he will score. Touchdown, Cowboys. Taking it in from four yards out, and the Cowboys have retaken the lead. Well, this offense only mustered three points in the first half on that field goal. They picked up the pace now, two third-quarter touchdowns. Hey, you remember that appearance we had last week in front of that crowd, and, and they asked yeah. about halftime adjustments and all that that was going on. And remember what I said, it's not always an adjustment at halftime. Sometimes just remembering the game plan and playing better, tuning it up and just working through it methodically, they got it done in this case. Of course, I'll always remember that appearance because I had on a brown belt with black shoes and you pointed that out in front of the crowd. So thanks for that. I said that out loud. You did. Ah, my bad. Extra point by Marr, up and good. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Now Philadelphia ready to get going on offense again. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no-no. We'll see what they do here this go around. A big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over, the other team takes it down and scores. That can be a deflator for a football team. Now it's up to the offense to get back out on the field and pick things up. You know, they're out there. We'll see if they can pick those things back up. Winston, the Eagles now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Now wins. And that going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. We have not seen a whole lot of wide open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive, knowing each other's moves all game long. And they've been on the spot just about every time. And they've held them in check on the scoreboard. To throw once more on second and 10. Wentz, Jeffrey with a catch left side. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. now on first down. The connection here with Nelson Aguilar. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Call that a gain of five as the clock ticks inside of two minutes to go now in the third. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Big series right here. We got to step it up. It's a second down run with Sanders. And he's got this one across midfield into Cowboy territory. 
Still a couple yards short of the first as the three-yard gain brings up a third down. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock, you control the ball, and that way you often control the game. Boom, moving from his tight end spot there. Do you think that perhaps the play call was for him? Still third down. And a manageable third down becomes a lot less manageable. Third and seven after the false start. Working from the gun, Wentz. This is caught by Jackson. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 38-yard line. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass trick in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Wentz now. Five straight completions here in this second half. First and ten. On first down, they run with Howard. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. And yet again, this run game just continues to be completely shut off. Completely stymied. I mean, they're trying to get some consistency, trying to find places to roam. They just haven't been there throughout this game. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Second and 11 now. Wentz. And he will go down. A Cowboys sack. The sack by Robert Quinn. Enough takes to start to have a good drive. Quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? Now, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. Eagles coming up here on a third and long, so Wentz and company with some work to do after the sack. Shotgun now for Wentz. Oh, a scrap for the football, and he's going to come down with it. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 23. That was an excellent read right there. Saw cover one. That means it's just a single high safety. So you know if you throw the ball to the outside part of the field, Help is going to be a little bit late getting there, and he puts one out there for a big-time completion. Wentz now six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and ten. From the gun, it's Wentz. He finds Aguilar over the middle. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 12 more yards there and another first down. It's a nice completion, a little bit of run after catch as well to create the yardage that they got. But it is so tough to cover that route, the drag route, because they run it at varying speeds. Because the key is to create hesitancy on the defender's part. Always so empathetic for those DBs, aren't you? On first down, it's Howard. And he'll be dropped at about the 11 after only a yard. 
I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Let's go, tackle. Let's go. We got this. We got this. We're done. They'll go option on second down, right side. And he'll take this one inside the 10, down to the 8. He'll wind up getting three on the keeper there, but it leads to a third down. But that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That was a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far, and the crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Wentz on the draw leaves it for Sanders, and he's going to be taken down here still a couple yards short of the first. Face mask. Defense. Bro, well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not Let's the penalty go. you want. Not at all. And now down. your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. It's first and ten. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Throwing now is Wentz. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. He was trying to find Deshaun Jackson that time. But it'll be second and goal. Down this close to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball on first down in this situation because second down, that gives me that option of running play action and maybe throwing it. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. They'll run with Sanders. And he's in for an Eagles touchdown. touchdown. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Eagles have retaken the lead. No success on first down. He couldn't get any yardage. They give it to him again, and he finds the end zone. Sometimes it just has to be persistence, doesn't it? And you know who else helps with that? Offensive line. After a team's been stuffed, the last thing they want to do is go to a different play call. They want to come back and do it again and show that they can dominate the line of scrimmage. Elliott good on the extra point, and that gives him a three-point lead. So that drive spans 13 plays, and it was Miles Sanders who finished it off with a touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. So Dak and the Cowboys down 21-18. Two minutes, 17 seconds to go. They're out of timeouts. Now they will have the two-minute warning as they've got it first and 10. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Out of the gun, here's Prescott looking and finding Allen Hearns. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. Brings up second and three at the 32-yard line. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. They'll look to throw. Throw left side complete. It's Elliott. 
And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. It's a gain of three. Brings up third and inches. The offense on third down tonight, they've only converted once in four tries. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. Prescott. And that is incomplete. So he's unable to complete it there, and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark, really, start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here, or is he just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. One score down, here we go. They're gonna go for it here on fourth down. Prescott to throw on fourth. Connects here with a tight end, Blake Jarwin. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. They keep the game alive, at least for the moment, as it's a first down. One crisis averted, but they still need to move hastily. Now Prescott. And he can't hang on to it. That would have sealed it. Instead, second down. Nearly an interception. If that one's picked off, it's over. So a new lease on life, so to speak. A lot of times when you're in coverage, you're so focused on the man and the coverage that sometimes the ball, if it arrives, it surprises you. That may have happened to him in that situation. Draw play, Elliott. Looking to find a lane, but he can't rein in at the line of scrimmage. Nigel Bradham brings him down. Short gain, short gain, last two plays. Who do you think's excited about that? Absolutely, this defense, they're saying go right ahead with O's. Big play coming up, here's third and 10. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. And this is caught, but I don't think he stayed in bounds. No, he didn't. It's incomplete. The throw took him past the boundary, and it's fourth. Fourth down now defensively. Charles, you know, they're just asking this crew for one more stop. And you know that they're feeling the momentum right now, but they have to be very careful not to get over-exuberant, over-excited, and blow an assignment and give up the big first down. They converted once earlier in this drive, but they'll roll the dice here again on fourth down. He'll look to throw, and that is incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and the Eagles are likely going to win it. Well, their first fourth down attempt earlier was successful. This one backfires for a turnover on downs. I like their aggressiveness. I like what they're doing. They got it the first time they went for it. Why not a second time? I don't think they'll be daunted from attempting it again. If you're on the defensive side of the ball, though, any fourth down stop, is a big momentum play. Go, go. 180! 54! Bring it! Bring it! Shift, shift! Wait, son. The Eagles in the victory formation as they take an E. Wentz with a kneel down, and that will be the final act of this game. So it's a victory here for the Philadelphia Eagles, and they were spurred on by a strong performance in that fourth quarter as they held their opponents off the scoreboard. Everyone wants to pitch a shutout for the entire game, but when you throw one in the fourth quarter, that tells everyone that you're getting stronger and dominance is starting to take over, right? The way that you close, the way that you finish, that gets preached to you from the time you're playing Little League football all the way up through. And they closed them out with a big time performance down the stretch.
So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Eagles are winners here as we say so long from Philadelphia.